What's up guys? So today we're actually going to go over the new agent Chamber. He's not actually called Dead Eye, he's called Chamber, as in one in the chamber, because one of his guns maybe has one bullet. We'll see, we'll see. So I'll, I'll go over everything in detail, but you can see on the screen right now that I've got the four ability icons on the top, right? So you've got, you know, your E, your C, your X, and whatever. You've got your four abilities there. And he's got like a little tagline here, which is well-dressed and well-armed, French weapons designer, Chamber expels aggressors with deadly precision and he levers his custom arsenal to hold the line and pick off enemies from afar with a contingency built for every plan. So essentially, he's a demon. Right. He's a ranked demon. So before we get into all the abilities, if you do enjoy the video, please make sure you hit that like button. It helps more than you think. Leave a comment on what your favorite ability is and also subscribe if you're new. I make educational content every single day on this channel. So I'd love to see you guys hit that sub. Okay, so we'll start off with the C ability. It's called Trademark and it looks like Killjoy's turret and it acts like Killjoy's turret as well. So basically, you place a trap that scans for enemies, sort of like the cipher cam, I guess, sort of like a cipher tripwire, sort of like the Killjoy alarm bot, I guess, right? It's like all of that combined, I guess. So yeah, place a trap that scans for enemies. When a visible enemy comes in range, like the Killjoy turret, the trap counts down, so maybe from three, and then it destabilizes the terrain around them, creating a lingering field that slows players caught inside of it. So essentially, it's like an alarm bot with a sage slow with maybe a cypher turret i guess this could be pretty cool i like the idea of it but it feels like it's just too much of loads of characters combined let me know what you think about this ability okay so the next ability is called pardon my french rendezvous oui, oui. uh so yeah this is actually the closest that we're gonna get to yoru and omen it's literally a teleporter in the exact way that yoru works i think so we'll read it place two teleport anchors while on the ground and in range of an anchor reactivate to quickly teleport to the other anchor anchors can be picked up and redeployed so it literally says in the name he's a sentinel and acts as an anchor on that site but you can go to a different site if you're in range of the teleporter so the way that this is going to work is you can only teleport like it says and like i just said if you're in range of that teleporter could this be the death of yoru could this be the death of of omen as well i don't know this seems really weird i'd have to see what this is like in game this is this is actually insane wait until you guys see the old though at the end of the video the alt is mental okay the q is called headhunter activate and equip a heavy pistol alt fire with the pistol equipped to aim down the sights so essentially what this is is it's up on the screen right now is this is his secondary weapon that he's got on him and it's his ability kind of like raise with a rocket launcher right but he has like a sheriff but the interesting thing to me is it says heavy pistol so it must be sheriff but then it says aim down the sights so what this means is you're going to be able to aim down the sights effectively with a sheriff so it's a little bit broken we'll see how it actually plays out in game but yeah this seems insane imagine being able to aim down the sights with a sheriff like what and now the moment you've all been waiting for the tour de force yeah tour de france tour de force good one valorant good one so this is the ultimate and this is the the, the craziest ult to me activate and summon a powerful custom sniper rifle that will kill an enemy within any direct hit killing an enemy creates a lingering field that slows players caught inside of it so what this essentially means to me is it's going to be like the sova ult and you know when you hit a player through another player with the sova ult instead of just hitting them and doing damage it will slow them down the thing that makes me wonder though is this going to go through walls like the sova ult and it's also going to one shot like an op so it's going to act like the sova ult but it's going to one shot like the op and anyone that it hits apart from the person that's killed it actually slows them probably the same that a, a sage slow does as well this seems a little bit weird here's the uh the image of the ult or the weapon that you'll be using as well it looks really cool actually um but yeah this this could be very interesting um yeah all right guys that's the video you know i like to keep my videos short and snappy and to the point i don't like to keep anyone waiting longer than they really have to so yeah let me know what you think about this agent in the comments i'm i'm super uh excited to see this agent but at the same time the alt seems a little bit broken and i feel like there's going to be some tuning changes happening with this agent when it comes out obviously when you're seeing this there'll be a trailer out and stuff like that but i did the best with what riot gave me and also actually a big thanks to riot and valorant for actually giving me early access to all this info and all the, the screenshots and stuff if you want more videos like this in the future hit that like button hit that subscribe button and again comment what your favorite ability is and if you think this agent is going to be completely broken and i'll see you guys in the next one